guy, welcome to the second hottest day of the season. We are headed out to swim, no, just joking. Can't be all fun and games. We got Gabby there, who is wearing jeans on the second hottest day of the year. Why, why do you ask why you're wearing jeans, Gabby? There's a big problem why she has to wear jeans. Front of my legs are tan, as you can see, but then the back of my legs are not. Yeah, and that can't. I love jeans. So yeah, we've entered the stage where beauty before brains. Beauty before brains. The front of her legs are tanned and the back aren't. So that does not look cool. Let me see. Front of my legs are tanned. Back of my legs are not tanned. I don't care. Comfort, man. It's all about the comfort. We are headed out to the trailer. As you guys know, we are trying to close that thing up and bring it home and set up our own little oasis. The craziest thing happened this morning. Gabby said to me, Mom, I wish we had LED lights for the trailer and can we clean it up and make it super cool? They want to make it into their own little hangout. And I said, yeah, that would be so fun. Ah, there's a, ah! Get that! Okay, well, what are you trying to get? With your hand! I'm driving, you know. Yeah, this is an emergency. It flew right inside my eyeball. It flew on my leg. Don't smush on my glasses. Where is it? It was on my leg. Obvious it is. Ginormous. It was on my leg. Thank you. I appreciate it. He said it was on my neck and it was on Gabby's leg and then they just shushed it in the front until it got inside my glasses. I told you that it was on your neck. Oh, I didn't even you hear. I was talking. I was talking. Can you play that when somebody was like, Yeah. A bug's on your neck. Yeah, I'm going to replay that and hear Gabby Sophie say there's a bug on my neck. Now I feel disgusting. So the LED lights. Um, Gabby woke up this morning and said, I really want LED lights for the trailer to make it cool. And I said, all right, I'll try and find some and we'll order them. And then I was cleaning out buckets from the basement. You guys know I've been cleaning out buckets that we moved and shoved in the basement. I've been cleaning them out every day. Sam is home today, so I brought up three, four buckets of his and he had to clean them out with me. Oh, he was not happy. And uh, then he packed everything back into one box and I was gonna take it back downstairs. I sat it there and Gabby walked downstairs and on top of the box was a thing of LED lights for the car. So she's like, I'm putting these in the trailer. Like, see, sometimes you just have to say what you want and God provides for you. Yeah, I say put them in the trailer. Like, that'd be cool. Outside or inside? Outside or inside? Inside. Inside, yeah, that'd be super cool. First stop, coffee. So if you got lemonade, Thank you. Gabby. Gabby got an uh, ice cap and I got a maple drink. So we are at the trailer and it's actually kind of chilly compared to uh, being at home. At home, it is already like 29 degrees early in the morning. Stop reading. Stop reading. Gabby, uh, we asked you guys on Instagram to do either or questions so that Gabby can shoot a video for her channel. She's gonna do like a collab with Kaylee. Hopefully it will work out. And um, she's reading all the questions and they're really good questions, huh? I'm surprised by some of the answers. Um, brother or sister? Well, I have both. Well, I kinda have to check around for money. Okay, go ahead, check around for money, Miss Winter Girl with your vest and your long sleeve Equizan clothes. But I love that outfit. It looks so super cute. So uh, we are back here again today, packing up some more stuff, taking more stuff home. I want to take these things home. These squares. Like, I think that they're easy to pick up. I don't know. I'm probably going to leave them because I'm lazy like that. Yesterday we went shopping for pool stuff. And basically, I, like I know, this. I know, I want that. Like, I'll be laying on that. That is what you tan on. Look at Gabby. You can put your face through the front. Oh, but then it would go in the water. What? You could read. Yeah, you could read on that in the in the pool. Oh, best studying tip. Okay, stop reading the questions. No. no questions. Oh. Best studying tip. Laminate. I saw this on a meme somewhere. Laminate your notes so that the tears just roll. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Wait, what is this? A boat. This is a little tiny boat that so your dad. Go your dad got oh, when he was. Broken, yeah. Your dad got this when he was a year old in Italy. This is 50 years old, 49 years old, wow. and it's broken. But 
He wants oh. to keep it. No, he wants to keep it. Years old. Yeah. He got it when he was one. But he's, he's out. He's but he's 50 in a couple of months. So yours is behind. What's yeah. mine? Behind. Oh, mine's. Ugh. And then we have a bunch of toys for the grandkids, which I am gonna bring. That's cool. No, it's not. Yeah, Ruby. Molly could chase it. Oh, that's cute. Why is there red hair? Why is there red hair? I suspect there's a mermaid in there. Let me see. She's oh, yeah, black. Ariel. Ew. So basically to bring the trailer home, Sam has to dig out all this stuff on the bottom. See how they put this trellis stuff around the bottom, this trim? He has to take it out. I also see that little clothesline there. It has poles. I want to bring that home for the pool because I need to hang up the towels. I sorted through all these three things. These are going home. Barbecue is going home. I want to take that swing home. See the swing? A bug attacked you? Yeah. Poor Gabby. Mm -hmm. All right, so we need to double up and carry. Five bug bites. Well, that's why Sophie's covered up because of the sun and the bugs. Mm -hmm. I have a bug spray on me. That's mine. This is mine. Oh, oh, darn. oh that's that big too. So I also found an island. I also found an island. This is almost as big as the pool. The blue one. Yeah, and we can all lay on it at the same time. Okay, so we're it's in there. We're gonna carry all these out to the truck. This is actually awkward to carry. It's banging me in the back of the knees. Sam's not gonna like this, but I want to take this little trellis thing home for the chicken area. I also want to bring home these garden edging stones for my garden. So when you're married and you know your husband's gonna complain about all the things that you want to bring home, you find a way to make. Uh, sacrifices so if I leave all the patio stones that he doesn't want to bring home he'll let me bring home those and that girls were inside playing cards you're here to work not play, you're here to work, not play. we have lots to do today like swim oh gosh imagine you actually fell so <laughs> <laughs> sits down she goes the safest way I found tape. Oh, good. It's More funny. tape for Gabby to tape up her body with. Oh, I'm going to tape my face. Oh. Oh, there's so, if you guys missed it, we went live on Instagram the other day. Some of you guys were probably there. And it was mostly me and Kaylee talking and Gabby and Sophie just sitting there. And Gabby had green masking tape and she taped her whole body. She taped her whole face. There's screenshots. I told people to screenshot it. She yeah, just sat Rose there. Yeah. She put on a whole mask of masking tape and I was like, you know, that is how you be yourself You go up there and you sit in a live video with hundreds of people watching you and you just green Masking tape your face and your fingers and you have fun and you enjoy life and it doesn't matter what anybody else says People thought it was funny people didn't laugh at her, but Yeah, didn't laugh at her perfect example of how you be yourself How you know a spoiled child owns this truck it has a ladder to climb up. Dad. Yeah, spoiled child, that's what I meant. Okay. Okay, lift this thing up. Oh, this is a 75 pound truck. All right, I've got all the things that we can fit today. Here. You want the paddle boat today? Yes, we need the paddles too. Sam has not been complaining about all the stuff I wanted to bring home, so I'm trying to do little by little. Probably next week we'll bring the trailer home because he wants to do it during the week, not on a weekend. Also, I've got a couple of those little pots there that you put uh, like strawberries and stuff in. I really like those. Really want the swing to come home. I've got some chairs that I want to come home. Like our house is so small, you guys. It doesn't fit anything. I also really want this thing to put outside the trailer. We can put candles in there and light our way. So this is what Gabby wants. This is a boat. So yesterday, yesterday Sophie found $3 underneath the deck and Gabby's trying to ta say that last year she lost three dollars, a toonie and a loonie, underneath the deck and I actually remember that and she's like, give it to me now, Sophie. And I said, what a, I said, finders, keepers, losers, weepers. Do you want to weep, Gabby? No. <laughs> Go ahead, cry about it, but it's gone. Hi, Lisa. All right. Mm, the lilacs, you guys, they smell so good. No, I want this here. Once the dad makes this into a chicken coop, the chickens will love all this green. Yesterday I threw a ton of grass in there. Okay, so basically, oh, it's you. We want you. 
We want you. All right. So basically, y'all know that we got two roosters. Hi, rooster. Okay, give them to dad. Look at the rooster, rooster. It's so nice and cool in this coop. We got the tarp and it's in the trees. Under the trees and it's beautiful in here for them. So uh, basically, uh, the man that sold me the chicken said, like, I think you, uh, I think you got all hens, but if you end up with a rooster, just call me and I'll take it back. And I was like, yeah, if we get one rooster, I don't care, I'll keep it. And then we ended up with two roosters. And then I'm like, okay, well, I'm gonna take one rooster back. But if I have to take one rooster back, why not take it back both and get me some chickens? So as sad as it is, we are taking our roosters back. They definitely come from a good home. Look how cute he is. He's so cute. Sophie's a rooster kissing kind of girl. They are really nice. And we kept them really healthy. All right, put them in the box. This one's the fastest So one. today we're getting new chickens. And I, I don't, I mean, I oh, love a rooster. Out. I love a rooster, you guys. I love a rooster. But I want eggs. Okay. This is stunning. Basically all where all these wood chips were. Yeah. Because they uh, ate grass down and made it basically like mud kind of thing. Yeah. So it was really bad this spring. So I've been... Oh, oh I love that chicken. That's a coach and rooster. Oh, I love that rooster. I want him. <gasps> oh, you are gorgeous. <laughs> Look at how beautiful. I love the pond. Uh, they're ducks and ducks. What is that thing? Is that a turkey? turkey. This, this will be my uh, fourth year. This is your fourth year. Oh, I, you don't have any girls with that, do you? Of uh, the coaches? Yeah. Unfortunately, no. What is wrong with you? What are you guys screaming about? You loving the sun? Those are the Sebastian geese that look like oh. curly feathers or whatever. Oh. Unfortunately, they both got angel wings. They it's, both... not, it's not genetic, it's just too much protein in their diet uh. and they're growing up. Aww. So what will angel wing do to them? Can they walk and stuff? Oh yeah, they're just basically their one wing tip uh, grew a little sideways. So oh. basically it's like that. So they just look funny. Yeah. They fit perfect into my life then. What the heck are these? These are uh, my cousin's uh, penciled runners. No, penciled runners? Out. Look at them! They're from the show line. They're from the show line? Oh my god, I'm so glad we met you. You have everything I want. And then, um, the black ones are called emery pencils. They're a newer one from their bloodline from the States, apparently. They're cool. Wow. They look kind of like penguins. Oh, I love her. She's gorgeous. Amazing. Oh my gosh, she's letting us pick whatever ones we want. Two over here. You said you wanted a lighter one. There's a lighter one there. I, I, I love that black and white one. She's gorgeous. That would be a cross exhibition rooster or bird rock. Bard rock, it's a rooster? Yeah. Well, then we can't. I love roosters. We can't have him. Okay, so what kind is this? This is a, would be a sex link. A sex link. I think we have two of those already. Mm -hmm. Three the of only, those. The only hands two. I have available at the moment are all sex links. Mm -hmm. Well, then that is what we're meant to have our sex links. Like, come later in the fall, I'll definitely have more colors. Yeah, like no, that. that's all right. If what, if God wants us to have sex length, then that's what we're going to have. All right, here they go. They get to just get out and go. Like, uh, this is glorious. It's all fenced in here. Big, this is what I want. You've made my... There you go. They're going to love this better. Like, when you take your pets and you give them to someplace else, you always worry about what life is going to be like for them. But their life is going to be good. They flew the coop. They flew the box. <laughs> are those ones all the same age over there too? Yep. All right. So Basically they're all these heads are from. Okay. Hey, open the box. This is Joe that we got our chickens from this year, and his so chickens. A couple broody geese in there. Oh, okay. broody geese! Holy cow! Look at them. This is the best day. I wish my kids had come. They're gonna be so sad. It's amazing. quail and some like grow outs. What are these? Uh, Caternix quail, the little Caternix ones. quail are these little tiny guys. And the ones that are black laying down there with the placing or whatever. Yeah. They're dark brown with bantams. Dark brown bantams. So these are your bantams. So we could have chose between a bantam and though that little one back there is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Those two are crosses between a buff and a dark. A buff and a dark. And then those are some other groats I got going on. Oh, we could have had this instead. I don't know if you know about the uh, Cayuga ducks. These are East Indy ducks. Uh, I do not know about them. They're called ducks. 
A fall, a what? Call duck. Call duck. They're like a mini Cayuga, and I got the bigger version right over here. Oh, and then look at those ducks swimming in the pond. Do the chickens ever go near the water? Uh, not really, no. And they can swim for a limited time. <laughs> look at all the roosters. Look at those things. They're so funny. Do you sell those things? Uh, the roosters? No, those standing up ducks? Yep. Oh, so these are funny colored runners? Runners, that's what they're called. Well, they they actually have their own color name, like the two black ones are black uh, runners. This one right here is a chocolate runner. The other one is like a blue runner. This one's a buff runner. I like the, the gray and white colored one there. Mm -hmm. That one would be a blue, pied runner. A blue, pied, blue yeah. Pied. Blue pied, wow. And basically just has all these in here to make different colors. Gorgeous. I love your fencing idea, how you made it like a little chicken and duck. Uh, compound. Oh, oh, look at these ones here. I oh, that guy's she's gonna attack our car. Get away from my babies! They're beautiful. Those are gray. Oh, so nice. So uh, we bought our chickens from this guy and we met him because it was in the middle of Corona. So we had to like meet him and do like a driveway pickup kind of thing. So we didn't like whatever so this is the first time we were able to come to his farm it's not his farm specifically he just has his setup here he said he's been working on it since last year and so it's just been a big process like the pond he had to dig and was it's ground fed so he just kept digging deeper and deeper and then uh, he's working on getting it less green and he's going to build up around the edge with rocks and stuff so that they don't chip away at it like he has a lot of plans but he leaves the door open so all those chickens and roosters can go out and eat the grass all day. Like, I don't know, I really like him and I love his stuff. Like, they have really fun stuff. I love him, his prices were good. He is such a genuine guy. I love him, like, his name is Joe. And so we just got to sex link something, same chickens that we already have, that's all he really had right now. And that's okay, I just want eggs. But in the future, I see that that's going to be us. Like, I want a big, Sam, we'll have to hire somebody to put in a pond for us. But I want a big setup like that. Like, I love chickens a lot, and Sophie loves chickens a lot. Didn't even smell in there. Like, it was so nice. But I might be desensitized to smells now that I have horses, but loved it. This is another day that I hardly clean my house. A day that you hardly clean your house is always a good day. These are a bunch of books that Gabby got out. She's got The Hunger Games. And she's got Waterfall, and she's got this uh, Wizards of Once. Books that I've been collecting for her because you guys may not know this, but she is a reader. She reads books. I also have on one of Sam's gray shirts. You know how Sam wears the same kind of gray shirt. Sam's shirts are super long and can cover me because the sun is brutal today. Here are my bricks that I'm going to be embedding in this area. And this area over here to try and keep the grass out of the garden. So I have this area in front of the chicken coop that I usually clean up. I haven't done it yet. It's got some lilac bushes and it kind of has like a natural overhang and that's where I wanted to hang up my thing. Eventually, I would like to tear out some of this bush and like, and maybe put some uh, roses or something here to make it pretty. But also I'm thinking like I might want to let the roost let the chickens come out here i was able to push it right into the ground you can't really see it through the trees but i think it's going to be so pretty i want our chicken area to be pretty if you've been following our pool saga then you will know that i've been working really hard to try and get the pool clear and i'm happy to say that i'm working in the right direction because it's still a little blue but it's kind of clear so i put a ton of algaecide in last night and it still did nothing, really. Ah. So we have all the chemicals. I know we need to get a kit, and we will, but our pool store is really far. So the next time we're in that neck of the woods, which will be soon, I'll get a little kit and figure out what we need to do with this, or else we can just take our water in and they'll test it for us. It's hot. It's supposed to rain and cool down by the end of today, and it's actually hot in the barn. So I'm gonna have to rig up some fans. It's 20, 80 degrees in the barn, 80 degrees. Uh, horses are not too bad though, they're not in the sun. Finny is kinda in the sun though. See how the sun just comes in? He's always the hottest. Hi, handsome. You doing okay? 
All the doors are open, a nice breeze coming in. And we've been feeding the girls in here because it's like 100 degrees cooler in the shade and that's that's what I want. I know a lot of people are saying like their horses handle the heat fine and our horses would totally handle the feet heat fine. But if we can make life a little bit easier for them, I don't think there's, I think that's good. If somebody came along and made life more bearable for me, I would be happy. I'd be a happy horse if somebody did that. What happened to the to the chair? How come you put it complete? Oh, you're laying flat down? Oh, I know. Oh, Gabby went from anti-tanning to learning to tan. So then the, yeah, she doesn't want to be all different she colors. Got burnt today. She got burnt yesterday. You barely got burnt. <laughs> Sophie and I are lobsters. She brought some books down. She's gonna lay down with her head down there and read. All right, let's see Wait, what is. Me my yeah, what the goggles are right here. Oh, you want your other ones? Yeah. All right, let's see what is the temperature. It definitely is better though. I need to take out my ponytail. It is 85 degrees. 85. I said it was going to so yesterday. I said it was going to be 85 degrees today I too. I said it was going to be 85. It was 80 yesterday and then went up to 82. I'm excited to get in. And I broke the pump. Um, I took the filter out without turning it off and it came apart. I hate this mat. Wait, are you gonna because it takes up half the pool. I'm Standing on this mat though makes my feet burn. Oh my gosh, there's an alien in the pool. Oh god. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it is. It's 85 degrees. It? 85 degrees is not cold. It's hard to talk with that mask. I'm so excited we got new chickens that are probably laying age. Look at That's blood for me. There. Right there, that was bleeding. Poor Gabby. She had a hangnail. No, it's the cuticle around it. Oh. It's a hangnail. I don't care. This is how teenagers get in the pool. I'm surprised you're not worried about your hair. Did you use the new conditioner yesterday? No. Oh. I can't believe I broke it already. All right, I just saw something. Scared them. Oh, I bet you it's a bunny. Sophie, I found a bunny. Oh, do you guys see it? Just wait, don't scare it. It was running around last night too. Move. Just wait, 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 wait. Here, hold this. Uh-oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, because now my camera is too. Oh, it ran. No, it's still there. Okay, hold on. Actually dreamed this. Did you dream this? There he is. That's the eye. Oh, there he is. You're terrified. He's gonna have a heart attack. Yeah, we, baby bunnies have a heart attack really easily. Let's leave them. Let's leave them. 